this fiddly technological driven world, it is crucial to understand which technology you are using to build your next generation web application. Selecting a technology in which you will develop your web app is a challenge that every product and business owner has to face. If you make the right choice, it will give you the solid base for development and expansion. But what if you go wrong? You, you might regret it later, right? The documentation of ROR says that Ruby on Rails scales from Hello World to IPO. Obviously, this depicts the versatility that Ruby, or, Ruby on Rails has to offer. One can obviously predict how much scalable is a ROR application. Despite the popularity of ROR, people are still, cla still claiming that it, it is dead right now. Do clients include ROR in their tech in, the, in their tech stack? Why should one use Ruby on Rail for their application development? All this question will definitely be answered shortly by our vacancies proficient ROR developer, Isha Gupta. Before starting our tech talk on why use ROR, I would like to give a brief introduction about Isha. So yeah, Isha has been working with ROR for like approx seven years. So far, she has worked on projects in different domains. So yeah, hello Isha. I hope you are doing well. Uh, thank you for being part for our today's tech talk. Hello, Archita. I'm good. Thanks. I'm very glad to be part of this discussion and honored to share my knowledge with the folks who are watching this video. Thank you for having me here. Pleasure is all mine. Uh, so yeah, Isha, some developers claim that ROR is dead. What do you think about it? Like, do you believe that ROR is old and irrelevant in today's fast growing IT market? I don't think one can ever claim a framework to be dead. ROR is a very popular framework. Uh, the community support is incredible. The constant updates, the uh, libraries and versions. I wouldn't say ROR is dead at all. Uh, the framework has become more stable with the known strengths and weaknesses and extensive library ecosystem. Um, looking at uh, now the new release plans from the end of 2018 onwards, Ruby is essentially going from strength to strength, expanding and improving with every new iteration, basically, to meet with the user uh, growing needs and expectations. Believe me, Rails is still the most wanted framework when we think about making a quick MVP or if we want to prototype something and check a concept. Okay, so we can obviously conclude that Ruby on Rails is not dead, obvious, uh, of course, yeah. It, it, we can say that it's rather evolving over years and years. To know whether ROR is a good choice or not for the project, it is very necessary to explore what makes ROR different from other frameworks. So yeah, Isha, you have been working with ROR for so long. What are, can you please shed some light on what are the technical strengths and limitation of using ROR? Uh, I agree with you, Archita. To decide whether to choose Rails for your tech stack or not, one should consider technical pros and cons. Therefore, I would like to share some of the pros and cons of ROR. First, I would like to discuss the pros which we face in ROR. Don't repeat yourself. The central pillar of Rails philosophy is don't repeat yourself principle. Actually, it ensures a clear separation of concerns and maintainability of your application. The framework embraces the principle of convention over configuration, according to which Rails defaults to set a convention. The specify the best way of doing many things. Second point is level of complexity. Basically, just to illustrate the level of complexity one can achieve with ROR, we can just look at GitHub. This is the world largest repository of source code built on a complex architecture of version control and distributed uh, software development. ROR is also a framework to successfully manage all the complexity. Third point is development speed, which we face in ROR. Uh, ROR was created with a high velocity of uh, prototyping and app development, basically in mind for the developers. 
due to the expressive and uh, concise nature of the ruby language one can achieve uh, rapid app development thanks to the gems which we are using in the ror it helps for making development easier uh, rail ships with a different orm system which helps uh, developer quickly put application and data logic together and deploy a fully functional prototype to be uh, expanded with new features later on now as we have discussed pros i would also like to discuss some of the cons which we face on ror first point which we face on ror the disadvantages of ror is one of the most frequent argument against ror is slow run time speed uh it makes harder to scale your ror application we can take a uh, example of twitter twitter uh, is an example as it expanded or improved uh twitter struggled to improve ror performance which deteriorated after the social network become very popular another disadvantage of ror is lack of flexibility ror is optionated framework with the many hard dependencies and modules included out of the box the lastly uh, point which i want to discuss for the cons point of view is like i would say uh, it has high cost of wrong decision in development this warning implies in every framework but with ror what happened is wrong architecture decision during the initial stage are more costly than others so yeah isha summarizing the last section that was uh, technical pros and cons of using ror you mentioned three advantages which were dry that is don't repeat yourself secondly the level of complexity that ror is very good to handle and mm. third is development speed okay and moving on to the disadvantages you mentioned slow run time speed yes and then lack of flexibility and high cost of the wrong decisions in ror development so yeah i believe that this would be really helpful to the decision makers who are confused about whether to add ror to their tech stack or not moving on to our next section that is a uh, business a uh, uh, business perspective of using ror so according to you uh, and with your experience what do you think like what are the business perspectives of using ror uh from a business point of view picking the right framework is a really important decision uh i'm happy to conclude that the current state of rails deliver not just rapid prototyping but also maturity which wasn't there few years ago so picking rails for the business means you won't need to invest huge amount of money just to perform updates to your application it has changed a lot since the beginning of the framework uh the rails core uh, team stirs the framework in stable direction still considering market trends while planning upcoming release and assuring security and it also fixes bug and uh, the recently released roa version mimic the current market trends uh, it focus on the capability to build only apis in, introduce uh, sockets cloud uploads or better handle emails with uh, no breaking changes so from the application owner's point of view rails guarantees less costly application updates and a greater return of investment mm, picking rails right now is an even better choice than a few years ago uh, the conclusion that the most important business value rails brings up is quicking prototyping which is still here and now we can assume that the cost of maintenance is lower than ever and uh, within 13 plus years of the market uh of this ror rails is still drawn in new developers and encourages them to explore the benefits of convention over configuration okay so yeah this was very insightful thank you so much for sharing this information the rails team is aligned with uh, markets business need i guess as you shared your information we have heard a lot about using rails for mvp so now my question is what is mvp and why should you use ror for your mvp uh mvp is a critical milestone in modern digital product development things always start with a product idea however the reality is uncertain and dynamic nowadays so you never know how the target group or the market or the investor will react to your product 
uh this is why instead of building a complete product at the first take uh, you need a minimal uh viable product that will give the value to the user and solve customer problem but otherwise it will be incomplete uh so rails was made to kick start fully functional mvp fast i would like to discuss some of the point for the mvp first point is fast prototyping with rr you can generate modules and functionality very quickly you get ready to use gener uh, generators pieces of codes you can use to build your app so they work like building blocks second point is great ecosystem uh, this is typically of modern open source languages you can reuse the code published by the other public libraries in ruby and the packages are called gems so they can perform the basic functionality and are waiting for your team to download them and use them so these are the things that are not easy to build from scratch which would take a lot of time so rails easily uh, obtain this great ecosystem and uh, help to improvise your application third point is easy iteration this is the core of agile software development and the idea behind launching a mvp so you can start a usable version of your application and then improve it change add or remove modules to fit the needs of a user so yeah arshita for these reasons and uh, one should definitely choose ror for the mvp okay yeah this was very informative actually thank you for sharing your knowledge for mvp and why should one go with ror with mvp <laughs> so yeah okay that's all for now special thanks to isha for giving your precious time and being part of this fruitful tech talk thank you so much arshita for having me here i really enjoyed discussing ruby on rails here in this tech talk okay yeah so i hope the tech talk was informative and insightful for you and has helped you answer the question why use roi If you find our tech talks helpful, then please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, let us know your feedback in the comment section below. And don't forget to check our description box where our team has shared useful links for ROR tutorials and blogs. So yeah, see you next time with another video with another technology. Till then, you can watch our last video. Why use Golang if you haven't yet visited? Yeah, thank you.